Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cup and I am Penge and welcome back to Yes Your Grace, which is a game that we played back in November 2019, so quite a few months ago since we last played this, and it was the beta version back then, so it was more like a demo version of the game which did finish at a certain point in the game, and if you didn't actually see the previous run, I won't spoil what happened, but it was a very interesting point in the game. There was a story and it got to a pretty critical moment in the story, and then the kind of demo demo version, beta version ended and it left me wanting to know what happened more, which is always a good mark of a good beta demo version. So yes, now this is the full version of the game. So we get to find out what has happened after that particular moment. But of course, things will have changed. Things are going to be a bit different. Maybe the story itself has altered a little bit and all that kind of stuff. So yes, I am very much looking forward to getting back into this. If you don't know what this game is all about, it is a kingdom management role playing game. So we run a kingdom, we are the king, we have a shiny crown and we have to manage where our time and effort and resources go and there's a story and also we have to deal with all our family goings on as well because as you find out there are some family secrets that kind of get unearthed in a mysterious sort of way so uh, yes I'm looking forward to playing this so I think without any further ado let's go and do some kinging I do like this little bit of advice that we get pre-game I quite like this so it says yes your grace is a game of tough choices it will be impossible to satisfy the needs of every petitioner sometimes your subjects will have spiteful intent and sometimes life will get in the way. I think we can all stand by that one. If you simply have enough resources at the end of each week, that's good enough. I like that. I like the fact that it's saying you can't win everything. It is a game where you cannot win everything. If you've got enough resources at the end of the week, then that's fine. You're doing some good king work. So, okay, right, yes. Yes, your grace. I like that as well. Yes, your grace. Okay, here we go, and this place looks very familiar indeed. Of course it does, because we have seen it before. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to refrain from mentioning our previous run-through of this game, because it'd be very, very easy for us to just go, oh yeah, well, on the last run, we chose this, or previously, we did that, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to try to not mention it, if at all possible. Now, some things are probably going to be very, very similar, like the graphics, which are very, very lovely indeed. And other things like that, you know, the character names are probably going to be the same. Other stuff might have changed a bit however so the story might be a little bit different some of the actions and some of the things that we've got available to us might not have been in the beta that we now have available in the full version so yeah i'm going to try and treat it as a proper new playthrough and where possible not mention our previous run although do you know what it might just slip out it might just pop out at points and i'll just go oh we did this last time oh no i'm not supposed to say that but i will try not to so that is us there we are here and our throne being all kingly and important and this room here, this is our throne room, obviously, because there's the throne and this is the room it's in. It's seen better days, hasn't it? It's seen better days. It's a little bit of a mess. I mean, you know, we've got a broken window just here, I think, by the look of it. The paint is peeling off these walls. This is a bit untidy down here. And, you know, this sort of, this nice, what is that? Sort of like a tiled sort of ribbon going around the walls. That looks a little bit chipped as well. The room has seen better days indeed. It could do with a little bit of TLC and maybe, you know, like a painter decorator and a glazer to come around as well and fix your windows and all your paintwork and stuff. Um, so yeah, it doesn't look particularly great, but it's fine. We're still here. We're still here being all kingly in our throne. So this here is a petitioner. So people queue up here to come and talk to us and then we can click them and summon them forward to come and talk to us over here nearer the thrones. So they wait patiently while we just sort of stare at them, I assume. So here we go. Let's just click on Audrey and see what you have to say. So Audrey, you may come forward. What say you, Audrey? It is time, your grace. Okay, click on the throne to step down. So we are getting off of the fancy pants kingly throne. I had better put on the crown. And there is the crown indeed. Look at that. It's just there looking all kind of fancy pants and shiny and crown like. So um, yeah, explore the rooms to find items of interest. So I don't think there is anything I was in. Oh, swords. These swords look quite sharp, but they are about a thousand years old. Can we not make some more swords or are they purely ceremonial? Okay, fine. We've got some really old swords. A Davern shield. A shield with our kingdom's emblem. So we are in the kingdom of Davern. It was forged by a famous blacksmith from Grevno. Okie dokie. They are the same sort of thing. I don't think there's anything else that we can look at. Apart from the throne. But I think that just, yeah, we just go back and sit down now. <laughs> so now Audrey's looking at us going... Uh, your grace are you okay why are you sitting in and out of that throne what's wrong with you let's go and put the crown on let's click on the crown let's put it on our lovely head you can find the inventory in the lower left corner select an item to interact with it okay the crown of davern 
Crown of the King of Davern. Yes, apply it to you. It's getting a bit rusty. Okay, wear it. Let's put it on our kingly head, you know, to look the part, to look the business. There we go. You can leave any room by walking to the edge of the screen or by selecting the doors. Okie dokie. Let's just go to the edge of the screen. And here we go. So this is a map of our castle. Click on the castle wall to go there. And there are many, many bits of the castle. It is a very big castle. It's huge, our castle. Has it got little fields in it? Little individual fields in our castle. It's a very big place. Okay, let us go over to the castle wall. Your Grace! Hello! What do you want? Hiya! A deserter! Okay, found one of ours hiding in his shed. Oh, dearie me. Okay, shed? Why would you do this, Sobic? There's too many of them. We have no chance of winning. Oh, that's, that's the spirit. You go on there. If you let him off, the rest may follow. However, our army is sparse as it is. We need every set of hands able to hold a sword, Your Grace. Okay, and this is where we get our tough choice. So, uh, yes, our first choice is even the least brave soldiers are essential now, so we spare him. Or, there's no place for cowards under my banner, which means we don't spare him. So the first choice we make in this game, you know, just to actually you know, get you used to how the game works and to drop you in, and also heeding that warning at the start there, that it's not going to be possible to please everybody, um, we either spare a man's life or we kill him, I assume. So we're going to spare him. We could do with the extra people. We'll just give a bit of a pep talk. I don't know. Calm him down a bit. Rub his shoulders. Get him back into the mood of fighting. And then you can go back and do some combat -y stuff. Even the least brave soldiers are essential now. With courage, we will defeat the enemy. No matter the yards. Let him loose, General. There you go. You are loose. Go and stand for Davern. For a short while until you probably get cut down. Th -th -th Thank you, Your Grace. Okay, so he has trundled off over there. Over here, Your Grace. Okay. Hello. Hello, General. How are you? How bad is it, General? That's not good. How good is it, General? Come on, where's a positive mental attitude? Our men are scared. It's the middle of the night, and yet it's so bright as if Svarog himself walked our lands. Yes, Svarog. Very bright, shiny person. The thin walls won't last long, and we lack any solid defence measures. We don't have enough men. Once they get in, we have nothing we can throw their way. Okay, this does not sound positive, does it? Can you hear the chanting? They're getting ready. We'd better get started. I have gathered archers from all the other walls. They are awaiting you at the wall, Your Grace. Okay, there's still time to put up white flags. I'm not putting up white flags. That's not how we go out. If we are going to go out against overwhelming odds, we go out fighting. Okay, is there anyone else we can talk to? The soldier says, Your Grace. The soldier says, Your Grace. And that soldier says, Your Grace. Oh, thank you. Thank you for sharing your opinions. That That's very, very helpful. Um, okay, let us go to the door and go up onto the ramparts here. Oh, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people out there who probably do want to kill us a bit. So, we can choose to put up a white flag. Let's not do that. That doesn't seem very noble, does it? That's not a very kingly thing to do. Um, we can say archers or sons of Davern. Um, I like the idea of Sons of Davern. It sounds a little bit more romantic. It sounds a little bit more inspiring. Archers sounds a little bit... Archers, kill them. Chuck arrows at their faces. Whereas Sons of Davern is probably going to be a bit more a bit more inspiring. So let's go for Sons of Davern. My brothers, we stood together through the worst of times. We have proved our strength in many battles. And today, we will prove it again. My bravest men, I bid you to fight for all you hold dear. For Davon! Okay, here we go. I mean, I've got a sword. Not much use up here. Ah! I don't know why he's shouting like that. Maybe he stood on a piece of Lego. I don't know. Okay, and there we go. Arrows go flying. And we look at the sky. And I think the game begins. Yes, your grace. Okay, so yeah. A little bit of a flash forward there, of course. One year earlier. We're out in the gardens and it looks very, very pretty indeed. So three, two, one. Okay, here I come. Okay, I assume I'm going to go find people. Okay, there's Lorsulia. Hello, Lorsulia. You found me. Well done, father. Come on now, Lorsulia. It's not often that we can do this. I told you I don't want to play. Aren't you too old for this? I, I, nobody's ever too old for hide and seek. Lorsulia, that's no way to speak to your father. Okay, there we go. Lostulia is a stick in the mud. There's a little child running out there. Shut it, Asalia. We can see you from miles away. Okay, let's go over and talk to all these other people then. So, Aurelia, hello, wife of mine. Oh, you know, I'm not playing with you, darling. The sun finally came out. 
Let me enjoy it. Okay, fine. Let's go and talk to Asalia. Hello, got you. Shouldn't have insulted your sister from across the gardens. She always has to ruin everything. She's so proud she couldn't even find a place to hide. I wasn't even trying to hide. I don't want to play. Next time you don't want to play, maybe try writing a formal announcement. Oh, wait. You can't write. <gasps> oh, throwing all sorts of shade over there. Of course I can, you nitwit. Oh, shade batted back. Cut it out, both of you. Okay, she stormed off in a bit of a strop. Flowers have got a thing. I'm not sure what these purple flowers are, but they are attracting a lot of bees. Oh, that's nice. Has anything else got? Anything more flowers? These roses make this place smell amazing. It's very calming. No wonder our girls like to spend time here. Yeah, those two seem really calm and relaxed, don't they? Okay, let's go over here. Let's find you. Hello, Sudani. How are you? And here's the little one. No! I was doing so well. You must have cheated. Or, or peaked. I mean, to be fair, you're not very well hidden. You're not even behind a bush. You're still in front of a bush in a blue dress. I demand another trial of, of the game. How official. Ha <laughs> ha. Maybe next time, Sudani. Okay. In comes Chappie. Forgive me, Your Grace. I hate to interrupt, but your subjects will arrive soon. Ah, oh, pesky subjects. All right. Enough games. The throne awaits. Now we probably go over to our throne. So Grevno, week one. Here we are in our throne room. Um, I mean, it still looks a little bit worn down now, doesn't it? It looks, a, it still looks a little bit battered. I mean, yeah, yeah, the paint is peeling off those walls. We could do with getting someone in. The petitioners will start queuing in a moment, Your Grace. We really need to shorten the visiting hours. Okay, so here come all these people. Hello, lots of people. And then we finally get to see our sort of interface down here. So um, that seems to be gold. That's monies. That is food. Uh, that is military power. That is the general happiness of the people. That is, I believe, that we have a general. The other two things, I can't remember what they were, but we unlock different characters. And that is a pigeon. Now, I, I'm not going to mention the last uh, run too much, but um, in the previous run, I thought that was some sort of mouse. No, no, this is a pigeon. This is a carrier pigeon that we can use to send messages to people. We've got one of those available as well. Um, okay, let's talk to some of these people then. So number one, Aurelia. Hello, Aurelia. How are you? Please come forth. It seems a bit silly that I have to sort of beckon my wife forward to come and talk to me. Just just come and talk to me. Can you go and speak to Losulia, my dear? I've tried talking to her, but she just won't respond. I don't know what's got into her recently. Maybe she will open up a bit more to you. She's probably wondering about at the wall. Of course, my sweetest. Okay, so she clears off. Okay, who do we call next? We've got a dungeon guard, a peasant, and another peasant. Do you know what? Let's call the dungeon guard first, because he's sort of on site. He might have some pressing sort of thing for us to deal with. Your Grace, I bring bad news. I, I, I guess this is going to be commonplace, isn't it? No one's going to bring good news. I was going to go, Your Grace, I found this massive pile of money and I'd like you to have it. Bye. Okay, I bring bad news. The recent rains have soaked through our roofs. The pantry roof has collapsed, as well as some walls of our dungeon. Only one cell is currently functional. We really should fix those things before they get worse. Otherwise, we'll keep losing supplies. You will see the required fixes in your weekly summary at the end of the week. Okie dokie. So we'll try and sort that. When you meet people and talk to petitioners, your advisor makes a note about the encounter in your archives. You can see all the entries by clicking the archives button below. Very excited statement there. Okay, gotcha. Um, okay, a choice of two peasants. Uh, do you know what? Let's pick this one here because he got here first. So we will chat to you, lowly peasant. Your grace, my daughter's wedding is at hand. Congratulations. The problem is we don't have enough gold or supplies to make a worthy feast. What will my daughter's in-laws think of our family? You want to hire a band? Buy some of that fancy wine on the market. We would only need five gold and five supplies. Okay, so we have 30 gold and 20 supplies. Okay, so it's not food, it's supplies. So yeah, that's that's a big chunk of supplies right there. We might need that to do some better work for the kingdom. Uh, yeah, we might need it to do some sweeping changes rather than just supply your family's wedding. I don't even know who you are. You didn't even say your name. I don't know what's going on or where you're from or anything. So, um, so yeah, I don't think we will give you the five gold and five supplies. Five gold? Like, I, I'm the king. This is the kingdom's treasuries. You want five gold out of the 30. That is a... I, I regret now trying to work this out in math terms. That is a six? 
Maths with Penge, that is one sixth of the entire country's financial reserves. And and you want to spend it on your daughter's wedding. No, no, no. Uh, you have my blessing, but I will not help. The kingdom has more important matters at hand. Indeed it does. Wish your daughter the best from me. You skimp us a little gold. It's not little gold. It's not a little gold at all. Shouldn't the king support his people in the hard times? Yeah, but if everybody came and asked for five gold when somebody got married, we would have no money left and you would all starve and it would be terrible. Pfft, I can't feed my guests with the king's blessing. Oh, go out and get some food then. So an entry has been completed. So what does it look like in here? A family? Help with the wedding. Okay. Um, yeah, so we've ignored the request. Okay, so it's just a little recap of what we did. Okay. Hello, other peasant. How are you? Your Grace, I come here representing my village. Hello there. We want to ask you for seven gold to help us gather tools and resources required to build an inn. We could really use a new place of rest after a long day of work. Now that, that I'm all for. That I'm all for. It uses seven gold, which again is a big chunk, but an inn is surely going to be a good thing. Surely it's going to be a focal point. It might encourage trade and all that kind of exciting stuff. People are going to go there. It's going to be a good thing for the community rather than just a wedding, which is a one-off event and that's it. We give you that money, there's a wedding, and then whatever, everyone just goes home a little bit hungover. This thing could continue for a long time and become very important. So, and also it doesn't require five of our sort of resources here. So yeah, absolutely. Take seven gold, build a fancy inn, make it the best inn around, and it's made the people happier. Hooray, okay. Oh, we surely will. Thank you, your grace. I mean, if you could call it the tankard and teapot, that would be brilliant. Call it that, there we go. Okay, off you pop. Oh. Hello, new bod. It's a new peasant. Hello, new peasant. How are you? Monsters. Beasts dressed in black. They came in the night, unseen, unheard. Until they arrived, they attacked the village. We heard the dreadful screams of the slain. Your Grace, I beg you must send your men. Check what happened. Find those responsible. Okay, tell me more. Tell me more about these beasts. What, what, what can you tell me? Who are they? Bright, red heads, short but sharp fangs. Hundreds of them. A gleaming metal for their claws. We've never seen anything like this. Okay. Tell me more is probably going to be exactly the same. Uh, my agent will check the village. I mean, I'm not going out there. I'm the king. I have, I have thrones to sit on and look important in. Uh, my agent will check the village, my good sir. The general should deal easily. Uh, deal with these bandits easily. Uh, thank you, your grace. Okay. Click on the glowing flower. Oh, we got a point of happiness. That's good. The glowing flower to advance to the next week once you are ready. Sometimes you will need to see your family members before you can advance. Okay. So let's get out of our chair. Okie dokie. Can we get out or am I being tutorial that? Okay. I think I might be. Hang on. I'm not supposed to go and see Lorsulia. Am I not going to supposed to go and see my, my daughter up on the walls? Can I not do that? Okay, let's press the button. I'd better talk to Lucilia. Okay, right, it was kind of tutorialing me to make me do that. Okie dokie, she's probably at the wall. Okay, right, get out of the throne and pootle over this way. Let's go, hang on, hang on. Can we talk to you? Audrey, hello. How can I be of service, your grace? Um, yeah, tell me about the kingdom. Although you think I possibly should know, given that I'm the king. And yeah, I'm, I'm not an, a young king. I'm you know, relatively, what, middle-aged looking king. But okay, tell me about the kingdom. What would you like to know about your grace? Um, resources. Tell me. We have to control four resources to keep our kingdom running smoothly. Gold, supplies, army, and contentment. Okay, they call it contentment. Happiness, essentially. We need to distribute gold and supplies to our petitioners. If they're happy, their contentment will grow. A strong kingdom needs a big army. To gain more soldiers for your army, we will need to make alliances with neighbouring lords and kings. We can gain resources through taxes, as well as from the alliances we make with lords. Okay, tell me about taxes. The villages in our domain pay taxes. Happy people will pay their taxes gladly, while the resentful will do what they can to get around them, resulting in less income for us. Ah, we want to keep the happiness up so people are quite jolly to pay their taxes. Okie dokie. This is why we need to make sure people's contentment is high in order to keep a good gold flow. Okay, gotcha. And petitioners, peasants, merchants, knights, foreigners, lords even. They all have problems and they all seek help from their king. We can use our resources or agents to help those in need. Beware, though. Some might come with malicious intentions, so you should, care, uh, should carefully consider who is truly in need, your grace. Okay, change the subject. Of course, how can I be of service? That is all for now. Cheerio. Um, ooh, window. The river brings a lot of wildlife to the area. 
I enjoy the sounds of birds chirping away each morning. Oh, that's nice. A little bit of sort of plot, sort of uh, plot there. Feathers. These pigeons always bring so much mess into the throne room. Okay. I mean, yeah, I thought you might have somebody to clean it up, given that you're the king. But okay, there's a plant. Aurelia convinced me to have some plants here. It makes the place seem more friendly. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. It's good. Friendly is good. You don't want people to go and see the king and be terrified. That's not good. You can't rule through fear. You must rule through niceness. Um, okay, right, let's poodle over. Let's go to blue icons indicate important matters to attend to. Green icons show optional conversations. Okay, well, I was going to go to the wall, uh, which is an important matter because that's where our daughter is. There are some other places to go. The gardens and the dungeon. Um, okay, let's go over to the wall first, I think. Let's go to the castle wall. Have a little chat with our daughter if we can find her. There's the gate. This gate looks very old. Anyone with some strength could probably just barge through it. I mean, could we invest in a new gate? How expensive is a new gate going to be? We've got 23 gold. Okay, I imagine she is up on the walls. Let's go up and have a chat with her. And this looks very different to the last time we saw it. Because last time we saw it, it was kind of weirdly dark. And there were lots of people out on these hills with big, sharp, pointy sticks who wanted to kill us a bit. And now it just looks really sort of pretty. It just looks really lovely. There's fields. These fields used to be covered in forests. Our agriculture is thriving. And then mountains, the grey mountains. Luli loves them. We're lucky to have such a beautiful landscape. And beautiful it is. It's lovely to look at. There is a cat. Dusty the cat. Can I go and talk to the cat? Hang on, daughter of mine. I'm going to go and t talk to the cat. Oh, I'm petting the cat. And the cat, somewhat predictably, says meow. Ah, oh, meow to you, cat. What you called again? Dusty, dusty the cat. Okay, Lorsulia. Hello, how are you? Oh, it's you. You need to stop fighting with your sister or goodbye. That's not really dealing with the issue, is it? Just walk up and go, yeah, yeah, I'm off now. Um, you need to stop fighting with your sister. Do you want to talk about what happened in the gardens? No. I'm fine, father. Okay, why don't you want to play with us? Asaley's been pretty nasty recently. I can see something's wrong. Yeah, I can see something is wrong. Why won't you talk to me? Everything's fine. Don't you have things to do? Okay, Asaley's been pretty nasty recently. Let's go down that. Let's try and uh, portray our one here as not the villain. If we sort of, you know, move the blame onto Asalia, she might start talking. Let's go for that. I don't know where your sister learned to be so rude. Hmm... Oh, is that it? Okay, why didn't you want to play with us? You used to find the best spots, remember? Maybe I'm not five anymore? Oh dear, that didn't go well, did it? That was not good king relations there. I will see you later. I'll leave you to it. <sighs> sure. Oh dear. Okay, right, that didn't go very well at all. Um, okay, let's get down to the bottom of here. Let's go and pick somewhere else for us to go. Let's just head off onto the world map again, or the the, the castle map. Um, so we're over here, dungeon or gardens. Let's go to the dungeon first. Let's go to the dungeon, get all sort of miserable in a dungeon, and then, uh, and then yeah, go and spend some time in the lovely gardens. So dungeon first. Oh yeah, of course it's flooded. It's got a big old hole in the roof. Ah, oh, damn it, this is worse than I thought. The recent downpourings have damaged a lot of buildings, your grace. Well, we still have space for prisoners. We should focus on buildings that need more attention. Yeah... I, I sort of agree. I think it's important to get this repaired eventually, but not right now. Although, yeah, it has caused quite a bit of damage. I've had a scribe write a list of things that we need fixed. You will see this in your weekly summary, Your Grace. This sounds like it's going to be costly. Yes. Okay, I like you. You you don't beat around the bush. You just tell it how it is. Mushrooms. The dungeons are a mess. I don't want to think what else is growing in here. It's quite pretty, though. I suppose it is. Yes, they seem to be glowing in a mysterious way. Barrels. The barrels are empty. They used to store our wine. Oh, that's that's just sad. That's all sorts of sad. Um, okay, dungeon guard. How can I help, Your Grace? I'm just looking around. Stay as long as you like, Your Grace. I know, yeah, I don't really want to spend too much time down here. And um, and a peasant. Hello, peasant. By all the gods, that could have been me. Your Grace, do you see what happened here? If I was in the other cell, I would have been crushed. This, this is a sign. The gods have forgiven my sins. I shall serve the mighty ones. I would dedicate my life to those in need. I mean, if I could get out of here, please. Uh, why are you here again? You've had enough. You've got what you deserve. Why are you here again? Oh, uh, um, I bumped into the innkeeper on the street and stepped on his toe. How dare you tell such falsehoods? Yeah, you tell them, dungeon guard. He ordered a gallon of beer, drank it all by himself, and didn't have the gold to pay for it. I know the innkeeper. 
he was pretty upset. Oh yes, I think I remember. Your Grace, I've been enlightened. I would ever do such a stupid thing again. I will serve a higher purpose now. Just maybe let me out? Um, no, I think, I think if that's what you've been convicted of and you're in here. I, mean, I don't know how long you're in here for. I mean, it doesn't sound like the biggest of crimes. It's not like, you know, he's gone out and murdered somebody for a big gallon of ale or whatever it was. He just took it and then legged it. Um, but again, that's a crime and he needs to serve the serve the time. You've, you've done the crime, now do the time. So, um, yeah, you got what you deserved. I think we'll say that. You got what you deserved. I think you'll need some more time to think about your actions. Your grace, but I am the chosen one. The gods have spared my life for a reason. Um, yeah. Okay, I think I might just leave you alone there. Um, what's that? Divine intervention. Uh, yeah, the king decided the peasant will stay in the dungeons a while longer. Indeed, I did decide that. Okay, right. Back over here. Let's pop over to the gardens. What's going on in the gardens? Um, hello, Asalia. Can we chat about you being a horrid person to your sister, please? Can you just stop fighting? That would be nice. Yes, father? Can you explain the fight in the gardens? What is the matter with you two? You and Losulia used to be best friends. You mean, why is Losulia such a big baby? This is the kind of thing I mean. She's annoying is all. Okay, you need to stop fighting. This isn't going anywhere, is it? I can't make you like her. This isn't going anywhere, is it? I'm just going to sort of go, oh, this isn't going anywhere, you two. How can both of you be so stubborn? You're not going to let her off, are you? Not until she stops being such a pain. If she wasn't so annoying, I wouldn't have to insult her. And so we come full circle. Okay, yeah, that, that wasn't brilliant, was either. Anyone else around here? Is the, the, the youngest daughter hiding over there somewhere? No, she is not. Okay, let's head back out over here. I think, actually, is that it? Is that all of our actions done? I think it is. I don't think there's anything else that we need to particularly do. Uh, let's pop back to the throne room, because why the heck not? Let's go into here. Um, and then I think now we can press this to move time on a little bit. So here we go. This is your weekly summary screen. Here you'll be able to see your kingdom's weekly income and expenses. You can buy upgrades and fixes for the castle in the left section. To buy an upgrade, simply click the button with the upgrade name and you will see the cost added to the summary. Gotcha. Okay. The first thing I think we need to do is do this. Fix the market stall. That gets us two gold per week. And the earlier we do that, the sooner we're going to start earning that two gold, which we can use for everything else. It's a bit of a hit on our resources there, but I think we need to do it. So let's do that. Let's fix the market stall. Okay, and we got two gold for that, look. Already, because we've fixed the market stalls, we've got two gold back, which is wonderful. So now we have 27 gold to spare. We could... What's that? Remove the supplies penalty from the treasury or it removes contentment penalty from the treasury. Okay, so yeah, there is, there is, ah, we lose five supplies. Oh my goodness, we lose five supplies every week because the pantry roof has got a massive big hole in it. And, um, and, uh, yeah, obviously like rain and stuff's getting through and, and destroying some of our supplies. I think we might need to do that because supplies seem to be in, in short supply, weirdly enough. Yeah, let's do that. Let's fix the pantry roof. And now, we do have a contentment penalty. So the theatre is broken. The theatre also has a big hole in it. Um, but it's only minus one contentment. And we might need that 15 gold in the next week. What we'll do is we'll fix it next time. So we'll take the hit now. We'll take that hit. So at the end of week two, we'll have another minus one contentment thing. But then we'll repair the theatre then, if we have enough money to do so. Okay, that's the plan. Right, save and continue. Let us begin week two. So, Grevno, week two. Here we go. Uh, and there's a couple of people to speak to us. Oh, there's many people to speak to us. Hello, many, many people that have come to speak to us. Um, okay, Lorsulia. Let's talk to her because she's family and, you know, she's part of the royal family. She should uh, she should be talked to first. Um, I bring news, Father. Asalia sneaked out at night last week. <gasps> My goodness, this is scandalous. I ran into her while she was going back to her chamber, all laughing and a little tipsy, I think. She wouldn't say where she'd been, but Sidani, as thick as she is, spurred everything to me in the morning. Oi, don't call her thick, that's rude. Those two chit-chat all the time. They think I don't realise. Thick? Don't speak ill of your sister. Yeah, absolutely, I concur. What's got into you, Losulia? Asalia sneaks out to some wedding, gets all drunk, but I'm the bad one all of a sudden. Audrey, did you know any about any of this? N no, your grace. I'd better talk to a sailor about this. You girls are going to drive me mad one day. Yeah, that's what children do. Okay, right. So 
entry updated. And now we've got a number of people. Somebody's hiding behind a pillar. Um, so we've got ourselves the general. Anna, the general went to investigate what was going on. So maybe we'll talk to you. So yeah, you went over to that village to see who the red-headed, whatever it was, the red-headed people with the big teeth were attacking, weren't they? So general, did you find anything out? Your grace, no sign of the monsters. We didn't stumble upon these bandits, though. They were pillaging the village. Redhead, sharp teeth, a crest of Redovia. I thought you could only find them in books and old manuscripts. Well, seems like we have one right here, too. Tell me, whose banner are you bearing? Oh, here, oh, this chap. Oh, they've kind of hauled him forwards. So he's the captive. Okay, whose banner are you bearing? Is it true that you're from Redovia? Your man is right. Radovia is my home, and you're soon yours too. <laughs> Why are you here? What were you and your men doing near the village? We're just making a living. One man might call it plunder. I would call it hard work. Who is your leader? Do you have a king, or are you just a barbaric thief? We are a free people. We don't bow to kings or lords. Bold words for someone trespassing in another country. Bold and stupid. Yeah, you tell them. Okay. I have heard enough, Your Grace. We can't allow barbarians to stalk our lands. Plundering and killing innocent men? There is no question that justice needs to be dealt to this one. Okay, execute him. Bit harsh. We could get some information from him first. Throw him into the dungeon. Or oh, no, my mercy. No, chuck him in the dungeon. Absolutely. Dungeon for you. You will rot in a cell. Don't want to let me go, but don't have the goods to kill. My friends will gladly hear about your cowardly decisions. How? How are they going to hear about it if you're locked up in a dungeon? Not the smartest. I need to see Aurelia about this. Okay, so they pootle off. He has got a spinny thing over his head. Audrey, why have you got a spinny thing over your head? What do you make of this, Audrey? Radovians, here. How would they get through the mountains? Why would they threaten a war? It's a lot of questions, but I need answers, Audrey. Mm, forgive me, Your Grace. I'm just puzzled. I might be reasonable. Uh, it might be reasonable, sorry, to start thinking about renewing some old treaties. Talk to old friends, so you can give us a hand. With our current resources, a war would bring certain defeat. I will make some preparations. Okay, so he's going to trundle off and do some sort of war preparations. And then who do we have here? Hello, three people. We've got a peasant, we've got Lord Eton, and we've got Pietro. Um, Lord Eton, let's talk to you first, because you're a lord, and therefore you're also probably important, and you might get a bit grumpy if I make you wait. So, um, hello, Lord Eton. My name is Eton. I'm the Lord of Branca, Your Grace. I will be as straightforward as possible. Someone has kidnapped my daughter. They expect me to pay 12 gold to get her back. The thing is, I track them down and I know where they're keeping her. I've planned everything out. I just need your general to help me take her back. Or I could just pay the ransom. Either way, I will need your help, Your Grace. Um, no, have the general. I don't want to pay 12 gold because that leaves us a little bit short. That leaves the kingdom very poor indeed. Um, yeah, have a general for a couple of weeks, please. There you go. Pay them once and they'll only want more. This is the best option. Yeah, I agree. You're right. Send the general my way and I will tell him my plan. Thank you, Your Grace. I mean, the general is quite good at, you know, doing military things. Maybe let him do the plan and you can just give him information. Maybe that's the best way. But okay, good, good, good. It has to work. Yeah, okay, right. So he is very much in need. Um, And then Pietro and a peasant. Let's talk to the peasant first. Hello, peasant. Your Grace. My dear son is nowhere to be found. Yes, a really daft little boy, but still he is my son. I ask you to help us find him, Your Grace. Is there a chance you could do so? Well, all we can offer is seven gold. A general will try. No, he won't, because the general is off to looking for someone else. Um, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. Okay, now this is this is tricky because this is where we start getting into into potential the potential risk of double standard. So your man previously, Lord I don't know, Feathery Hat, whatever he was called, he had um his his daughter, was it, had been kidnapped. So his daughter had been kidnapped, and um he said, Hello, can I have some help, please, Your Highness? And we said, Yeah, sure, have this general. That's absolutely fine. Um and now this person's come along and said, My boy is missing. Can you help me? And I'm very tempted to say I won't be able to help you. However, there's a couple of reasons for this. Number one is seven gold is quite a lot of money and we might need it for better things. And then, and number two is that your son is lost. Chappie with the feather in his hat there knows where his kid is. He's tracked them down. He's done a bit of work. He knows where the person is that he needs to save. And he just needed a little bit of sort of military might to go and actually get on with it. You do not know. You are clueless. So if I give you seven gold... What are you going to do with it? 
I mean, how, how are you going to, what are you going to do? Hire a load of people to go searching? It's a lot of money. So I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. We can't help everybody. I'm very sorry. You've tried to get the villagers to help you. Your Grace, please. I can pay you. I have scraped together one piece of gold. Very well. Two weeks. Keep your money. We will help you. Two weeks. Or try finding him yourself. Uh, Hang on. Two weeks. Well, either way, we can't. Hang on. We can't do the two weeks because we haven't got the general. We simply can't do it. Two weeks of who, though? Normally it says the general. And well, yeah, if I put very well two weeks, it would just say there's no general. Yeah, there's not enough generals. So, yeah, we can't we can't help you. Try finding him yourself. Sorry, I'm not sure my man or gold would make any difference. Your son could be anywhere. Oh, and the people didn't like that. I was afraid you would say that. But I will not give up on him. I will find him myself. Go forth, Mr. Hatman. And um, Pietro. You look very, very stylish, Pietro. Nice boots. Your Grace, I fear for my life. I think someone is trying to get to me. What's going on? I think, I think someone is following me. They want me dead. Who's they? I don't know. How would I know? I haven't done anything right. I don't know. I better be going. Okay, you're a very odd man. Bye bye, odd man. Uh, okay, let's get out of the throne. And let's go and see what other things we need to go and deal with. Because, yes, we've dealt with all the people. There are going to be other issues. So, key thing to deal with in the gardens. Key thing to deal with in the bedchamber. And a thing to deal with in the dungeon. Let's go and do the non-essential one first. So, hello, dungeon. I imagine we're going to chat to you, Rodovian soldier. I didn't think a king would come down to the dungeons. An honour, truly. Okay, enough of the games. Quit your jibber-jabber. Tell me what you know. Why are you here? I suppose that's one way of killing time in this murky den. You see, Bayran, that lunatic, thinks everyone will follow him. <laughs> Keeps raving about some promise. One of the seven kings will give him his daughter. He thinks he's got a chance of mingling with the royals. I still can't decide. Is he the mad one? Or is it his followers who believe this bunk who are really insane? That's all for now. How interesting. You will stay here a while longer. Maybe you'll be useful. Don't you worry about me. I will play with my friend here. Um, your grace? Okay, let's talk to you now, peasant. Have you considered letting me out, your grace? The gods must have spared my life for a reason, you know. I think now we let him out. I think if we if we leave him in here, your, your big baddie man here, your Rodovian fella, is probably going to do terrible things to him. And he's been in prison for a week. He's been in prison for a week. That's probably enough for him to learn his lesson. Plus, he's now you know, kind of waffling on about you know, being appointed by God and all that kind of stuff. So let's let him out. Because I think he served his time and he might get brutally murdered by this chap here. So, um, yeah, you've had enough. It's fine. You've had enough. I hope you learned your lesson. You may leave. What? Really? The gods have truly chosen me. I will go and spread their wisdom. Thank you, Your Grace. Our paths will cross again. I can feel it. Okay, so out you come, chappy. I want to shut the door again. There we go. Right, so the Rodovian soldier's locked away. Do you say anything? Uh, no, just looking around. Stay as long as you like. Uh, yep, yeah, about that long. Bye-bye. Um, let's go to the gardens. What is happening in the gardens? Hello, Asalia. Did you sneak out last night and get a bit drunk? That's very naughty. <laughs> yes, father. Or yes, father. If she's still a little bit hungover and drunk, I don't know. Um, yeah, there was a, um, it was a wedding in the village, wasn't there? Do you know anything about that? I've heard there was quite a fine wedding in the village, just outside our walls. It wasn't bad, but I've heard it could have been better if my father was a bit less stingy. Hmm, how do you know this? Sounds as if they had the honour of a royal guest. Uh, no, of course not. I've heard what people say is all. Come on now, I know about the wedding. Losulia told me what happened. How would she know anyway? Oh, of course, Sadani. So Sadani's the little daughter, isn't she? The one who was at the end over there. Sadani. Um, I'm worried about you. I have too much on my head. You're too careless. Yeah, I'm worried about you. Don't go out and do something silly. I wouldn't forgive myself if something happened to you. You have no need to worry. Nothing will happen. Do you know what's out there? What could have happened if someone found a princess by herself in a village? All the drunkards, thugs. Nothing happened, father. I was dressed differently. I was careful. I'm not stupid. I know what I'm doing. All I wanted was a little fun. Losudia said you got drunk. That's a lie. I know what I'm doing. I can take care of myself. How many times? Ugh, Losulia. Since she turned 13, she thinks you will make her marry some fat, dumb prince and send her off to another castle. If she intends to be such a lousy rat, maybe it would be for the best. 
Ah, okay, is that why she's been acting up lately? I suppose so. It doesn't change the fact that she's just infuriating. And it doesn't change the fact that you didn't stop with the name calling. You are confined to the castle. Oh, grounded. Okay, no more visits to the market, no more playing games, no more horse riding. <sighs> Ooh, which, which one do we choose? No more playing games. Yeah, is she really bothered about playing games? No more visits to the market. Maybe she likes going out to the market. So yeah, no more visits. You will not be visiting the market. What am I supposed to do inside these godforsaken walls? To be fair, we saw on, a, on the sort of overhead shot of the castle, the, uh, the walls are absolutely massive. There's probably quite a lot to do. Uh, stupid lost Julia, I'll teach her a lesson. Stop with the names. Oh dear, I'd better talk to lost Julia. Okay, do you say anything else? Yes, father, stay safe. Don't do anything silly, Azalea. Do I ever? Yes, yes, you do. Right, no one else down that end, okie dokie. Uh, right, okay. Go back through to here. That will have opened up this one at the castle wall now. So let's go and find our eldest over on the castle wall. Okay, there she is in pretty much the same spot as she was before. But okay, hello, Lord Sula. Oh, it's you. Asalia told me what's going on. Asalia told me why you might be feeling a bit down recently. Oh, and why is that? Okay, you won't have to marry a stranger. You're a grown-up woman now. You will have to get married at some stage. How about we go completely down the middle there? Because that's making a promise that I'm not entirely sure we can keep. You will have to get married at some stage. Sounds a little bit sort of, oh, you have to get married at some stage. Whereas you're a grown-up woman now. Sort of goes, you know, well, yeah, you're a grown-up woman. And that, you know, it comes with responsibilities in this particular world. So you're a grown-up woman now. Let's go for that. Soon, the lords and knights will line up to ask for your hand. You know I will have to choose someone. But we can't, but we can wait. I promise we won't move forward if you're not ready. Hmm, time will show. Okay, goodbye. I'll check on you later. Hmm, okay, right, back down the stairs. And so we had one more thing to attend to in the bedchamber. Ooh, uh, missus, but I don't think it's that kind of thing. So let's pop over here. Go to the bedchamber. Hello, wife of mine. Hey, look, this is very lovely. It's a very, very lovely room. Got a nice fireplace. Oh, hang on, we can click on the fireplace. This fireplace is full of ash. It's quite cosy here in the evenings, though. Um, we've got various bits of art. We've got mountains painting. The grey mountains. They seem much bigger in real life than they are in this painting. Yeah, mountains are bigger in real life than they are in a painting, aren't they? That's very wise of you, Your Highness. Um, anything else that we can look at? Apart from Aurelia, obviously. A dresser. Aurelia's dresser, where she gets ready for the day. Treasure chairs, plants. Um, I, I was going to say, I like the painting of the stork there. That's exciting. We get a lot of storks here in Davern. They are very graceful birds. I think that might be it. Okay, so, hello, wife of mine. Hi, I've got some news for you. Darling, foreign barbarians visited, <laughs> visited us this week. Rodovians have come to Davern. One of their bandits was brought to the castle. Rodovians? That can't be right. Do you think it's about your... Our... Promise. Oh, 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 hang on a minute. She she just threw the blame on me and then tried to take it back. She tried to throw us under the bus right there. Oh, my goodness. I am afraid it is. The bandit is in the dungeon. I already questioned him. It cannot be. Eric. OK, this is all very bad. It's all got very dramatic. Well, he said to himself, how would he know? Thirteen years ago, we promised our unborn child's hand to a thug. Bayran wasn't it? Does it matter? After 13 years, a Rodovian shows up in our castle. I'll be damned. Yes, Lorsulia will soon become a woman and we will need to find her a husband. And Bayran, the villain, will arrive to make me fulfil my promise. Okay, what got into us? What about the witch? Or what now? What about the witch? Oh, what's going on here? Do you remember the curse? I don't even want to think about this. Let's just hope the curse is nothing but a hoax and see how things with the thug turn out. Okay, what got into us? How could we have promised our daughter's hand to a Rodovian? With a knife to my throat, I'm not sure what else we could have done. To think our daughter will marry some barbaric thug, though. We can't let this happen, Eric. Good name, Eric. I like the name Eric. Eric is a good name for a king, particularly with a Y. That's good. Don't worry, we will solve this. Okay, what now? What are we going to do? I like that. He's like, don't worry, we'll solve this. Next line. Mm, what are we going to do? I don't really know how to solve this. If Bayran ever shows up to claim my daughter's hand, hopefully no one will believe him. We just need to play stupid. 
unless he shows up with an army. Don't be silly now. How could a commoner afford an army? Even we can't. How could Rodovians get to Davern? Anything seems possible at this stage. You did send the bandit to the dungeons. I already told you I did, Aurelia. Oh, yes, yes. I'm sorry, darling. It's just too much to think about. Okay. How are you holding up? I, I, I don't know. It's so unreal. Marry a prince? A lord even? But, but, yes, but let her marry a thug? It will be fine. I won't let them take her away. Okay. I will see you later, darling. Cheerio. Eric? I am terrified. I can handle this. Fine. I will stay here. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to handle it. I'm not entirely sure. But okay, right. Let's go out the door. Uh, that's it. That's all the matters taken care of. Let's go back to the throne room. It seems appropriate to kind of end everything at the throne room point. So I think we're done. I think we're done for week two. So let's move things on a bit. Let's just progress the game a tiny little bit. So overview of week two. Our market stores are paying out quite nicely indeed. So we've got ourselves 10 in taxes of gold and seven of the uh, supplies, which is good. So we've got 18 gold and 20 supplies. However, we did have to pay our general a bit of money because he is now going out and doing some stuff. So Stan the general is going out and he was working with that chap, wasn't he? With the, the man with the feather in his hat to go and find that uh, bloke's daughter. So we paid him nine. We lost one sort of happiness, contempt, whatever from the broken theatre. We did get two from the market store. So we made a profit of 12 gold, but then we spent nine of it on a general. So we only made three gold. We do need to do this though. We need to repair the theatre because otherwise that is just going to keep coming down week after week after week. And that's not good. That's not a good thing at all. So let's spend a bit of gold on repairing the theatre. There we go. So that's also sorted out the um, the discontentment sort of uh, debuff this time round because we fixed the theatre so people can go to the theatre and enjoy some lovely theatre goings on, which is splendid. And I think what we'll do is... We shall finish up for now because we've got to the end of week two. We've kind of started the game off. We've kind of, you know, seen what's happening and seen what's going on with the, the royal family of the of Davern. And I think it's a good point to leave it. So we'll come back. We're definitely going to come back. We're going to see how far we can get with this because we've only just really started scraping at the storyline there. So yes, they've promised their daughter's hand to this barbarian kind of person. And um, and yeah, he looks like he might be coming to uh, claim that and you know make sure that the king actually keeps his promise so we shall see what happens next time out but yeah we'll finish up for now but we are definitely coming back to this we're going to have a full run of this because i want to know how the story goes and how it all ends in our particular run because of course this is one of those games i imagine where all the choices you make lead to different kind of story arcs and different endings and all that kind of stuff so yeah i'm intrigued to see how our story ends here in yes your grace hopefully you have enjoyed this i i like this i like the the, um, the beta version we played a while back and this is great it's great to be back into it and yeah I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes but hopefully you did enjoy it if you did please do leave a like that would be very very splendid indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe in order to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in yes your grace but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and I will see you next time right everyone give me your money give me all the money the music is very sinister not sure I particularly like the music. Fire the catapult. Oh, what a shot, catapult man. Right, okay, they're knocking the wall down. They're not, the wall is coming down. Oh God, some of them are huge. Oh God, people are dying. Oh, it's lovely. I've got a watermill.